What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel is another awesome tools under $30, but first roll that intro. <laughs> Alright guys, so up on the chopping block, awesome tools under 30 bucks, is this Lufkin Black Widow Tape Measure. These things are awesome. I love them to death. I used to be a Milwaukee uh, Magnetic fan. Uh, you know, it, it's got the big tang on the front. Uh, I'm kind of steering away from the magnetic uh, tip on these. They collect just about anything that's metal. Um, anything that can be picked up by a magnet gets picked up by this thing. And uh, it just becomes dirty on the end. Um, I have some mortar. Uh, you can tell I've done a lot of tile jobs with this. Um, splattered in paint. I used to be a fan of these. I still kind of am. Um, I don't like the belt clip. So what I'm going to recommend to you, awesome tools under 30 bucks. This thing goes for $17.98 at your local Lowe's. Made by Lufkin. Uh, I like the belt clips on these. They're a more traditional belt clip. They go on and off your pocket very easily or your tool belt. Um, I have tested these, um, you know, they they have gotten dry. Did I do a video on this already? No, I didn't do a video on this already. Okay, just making sure in my mind that I didn't do a video on this tape measure already. So um, thanks for bearing with me. So the end of this has no magnet. Uh, if you can see it right here, uh, very, I'll put it over there a little bit. So. Uh, it has a very good tip on it so that you can snag a lot of things uh, and you can really hook on the end there. So I really like it. I really like the end design. Uh, it, it really suits me. I think that's that's uh, definitely something I like about it. So another thing that I just can't get enough of is this uh, high-vis uh, black and what would you call that? Black and lime green. Um, very cool blade design. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty epic. And it ex is the exact same on both sides. So um, I find that on a lot of tape measures, they will do a different design on the top versus the bottom. Uh, and I just really don't like that. Uh, I, I really like this high vis. This green is easy to see. I mean, heck, on the camera, it looks great right now. Um, you know, it, it just, it doesn't leave a lot left on the table. This thing is pretty awesome. A lot of people might say, well, it's not magnetic and I work with metal studs all day or or whatever. Um, you're Somebody's gonna have something to complain about this tape measure, but I definitely think for $17.98, it is an awesome tool under 30 bucks. Uh, it, it's, it's got the, uh, the over-molded plastic. Um, I don't think that this is rubber. Um, it's just some kind of polypropylene, uh, who knows. Uh, I'm no expert, but it has great retention. Um, I really don't care about hold out or stand out on these. Uh, it really isn't important to me. It's just one of those things like, how often do I use the standout? I don't. Um, I'm usually across the floor or across a board. That's for me and my application. Uh, for all of those nerds that care about standout, I'm not going to show it to you. So um, I really don't have a lot more to say about it. I, I think it's great. I love, I love the belt loop on this one. Um, it's one of these belt loops here, so you can see it up close. Um, I, I really like it. Makes it easy to use. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. It locks in really positive. Uh, it, it's, it's definitely a good size. 25 feet is all I need for my applications. Um, it is definitely lighter than the Milwaukee tape, so if that's something that's important to you, um, this Milwaukee 25-footer is definitely heavier. Um, you can just pick this up, and it's a couple ounces lighter. Um, it definitely, uh, definitely not a game changer for me, but you know it's kind of nice to to have it. I like the uh, high vis orange. Um, I guess I'm a little bit more flashy, and I like to have uh, you know the orange and the green and just something kind of cool. So I really recommend this tape measure. If you're looking at one, I mean, you can't go wrong with a lot of these newer brands, Stanley, Fat Max, Lufkin, Black Widow, uh, you know, your, your standard Milwaukee. Uh, they, you know, that Milwaukee stud is also a good tape measure. Um, I think that, um, well, I did a review on, I got them all sitting right here. Um, I did a review on this one not too long ago. Maybe I'll put a, uh, 
a link in the upper right hand corner but uh, yeah, you know, all good tape measures. Uh, there's not really a horrible tape measure out on the out on the market these days. Uh, as you can tell, the Craftsman is a blank on the back. Um, so that's eh, just one of those things. Um, oh yeah, so the Milwaukee comes with a white on the bottom, yellow on the top. So uh, I'm not exactly sure how I like that, but I definitely love this Black Widow. It's the same on both sides. If you're used to reading it on one side, uh, you're not going to get thrown off to read it on the other side. I like consistency in my life, and you know, having the same thing on both sides of the tape is important to me. So uh, those are my opinions on it. If you have any opinions, um, you want to bash me in the comments or whatever, let's talk about it. The Lufkin Black Widow. Talk to me in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you're into. And as always, I hope to see you click subscribe. I hope you've, you guys uh, that do subscribe and have rung that bell, you find value in my content. As always, leave some comments if you got some uh, critique, some criticism. Uh, I'm trying to get better every day, and we'll see you guys in the next video.